this female patient, middle-aged female patient with chest pain and cough. On auscultation, she has a third heart sound or similar to opening its nerve. And here in ECG, sinus rhythm with normal axis, but the R wave is present in V1. This R wave in V1. Look here, similar to that of posterior myocardial infarction. When we doing the echocardiography, we discovered this, the third case, the third case of B9 cardiac tumor, which is called emaxoma, characteristically moving in systolic and diastolic through the mitral valve, and it is connected to interarterial septum, this characteristic of arterial myxoma. It is benign tumor of the heart with mitral regurgitation, and she has a paper with high SR also, and she has mild to moderate eccentric posterior directed tricuspid regurgitation. Yes. Uh, of course, it is removed this by surgical intervention. However, it may be recurrent. It is associated with embolism sometimes, but particularly when it is fragmented. Yes, it is a nice case. She is a nice case. This is short axis view, and this is the left ventricle. This is the myxoma. This is the pulmonary artery, right and left, and this is the myxoma inside. Look here at the short axis view how the myxoma is moving inside the left ventricle, which becomes the source of embolism to every part of the body. Yes. And this is the tricuspid valve. This is the aortic valve. This is the pulmonary. is the myxoma, typical case, typical case, should be suspected in every patient with musculoskeletal pain and cough dyspnea with sound, third heart sound, similar to third heart sound and open snap in the, on the chest. Yes. This is the liver of the same patient. Sometimes the maxoma can be associated with cardiac and extracardiac abnormalities. Thank you for your listening.